I have heard it called a floating classroom, and while for most of us, school's out for the summer, this floating classroom is just about to open its doors, or canoes, for the first time ever here in Toledo. I welcome to Leading Edge. You know Kari Gurn with a couple weeks ago, Tima Cox, Director of Water Quality Planning. Also here is Christina Kukli. Mm -hmm. Yes! Yeah, from the Ohio it. Department of Natural Resources. She's the Scenic Rivers Manager for the Sandusky and Maumee Rivers here in Northwest Ohio. So this canoe mobile program and coming to our town late in June, it's a program of an organization called Wilderness Inquiry, WI. It dates itself back to the early mid-70s. It is designed to do what? I'll let you lead us off. We need to get people outside. The Maumee River is a fantastic resource for the Toledo area. It's been a designated state water trail since May 2018. It's been a designated United States Scenic Rivers since 1974. Wow. And it's a fantastic resource for the community. There's lots of great public access. So through Canoe Mobile, if people haven't tried canoeing before, if they haven't tried kayaking, this is a fantastic opportunity. It's, you can get in these 24 foot long canoes that hold 10 people. So these are not likely to tip over because I'm just thinking I don't want to tip over in the moment. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Even if you have a typical canoe that only holds two people, they're quite stable. Uh, so these are 24 I've foot canoes. I've canoed the Manistee River in, in, in Michigan. Yeah. They can be stable. <laughs> So if, Jerry. <laughs> well, this is great, though, because the expert's going to be with you to help There you. we go. First so. three days of Canoe Mobile, so we're talking June 26, 27, 28th, Kari, involves young people aged 10 to 18. Who are they? Where do they come from? So Team McCog has reached out to local camps, uh, to YMCA's, Boys and Girls Clubs, uh, all sorts of uh, groups that provide camp opportunities for kids throughout okay. the summer and ask them to bring their campers to participate in this program during those th uh, three days that are you, you mentioned. Are you full up? We are not full yet. We oh, okay. still have room for- So people watching this weekend, how can they get involved? Well, if uh, folks watching this weekend have uh, campers that they would like to bring, they can contact Teamacog and we will uh, hook Teamacog. them up. Teamacog.org? Uh, they what can, uh, .org, that's right. It'll get there. Yep, okay. or they can call our Well, main Canoe Mobile is new to us. I'm excited about it. Teamacog, I know, I'm going to stay with you, is in year number 30 of its student watershed watch. So you guys that's working right. with kids mm -hmm. over three decades now to do what? For 30 years, we've been working with teachers and their students across the Maumee River watershed, uh, close to actually in the Toledo area, right. to get students out into their waterways to collect water quality samples, to uh, look at the life that lives in their water in their waterways and to make an assessment of how that waterway is thriving. Yeah. So we've been doing this for 30 years. We've been collecting data for 30 years and we're really excited to celebrate that. I know that some kids are just drawn to nature. I think of scouting kind of naturally draws it, but the canoe mobile hopes to involve both urban and rural folks who don't necessarily have easy access to water recreation. They're trying to get some folks out. This is all gonna be new to them, right? Yes, well, in Ohio, canoeing and kayaking is skyrocketing in popularity. Mm -hmm. In just the last 10 years, the number Numbers of registered canoes and kayaks in the state of Ohio has more than doubled. How about that? It's really fantastic. And the Maw Meet is a great place to go do this. There's lots of public access. Again, it's a designated state water trail. So if from, some folks haven't tried canoeing before, try Canoe Mobile, the experts with you, all the equipment's provided. It's a free event. And How many like people it, are we talking we're we gonna have out here on this river right behind my television station when this thing is in high gear? Well, we're hoping for about a thousand the day. I'm of sorry, the I thought you said a thousand <laughs> every day? Uh, not every day. So the, in, in the, the okay. uh, camp events, those three days, uh, yeah. we're probably hoping to have about 600 or so each day. Again, we're not full, so we're hoping to get some more kids in. That's so. big, but then you put it all together then on June 29th, and that's where mm -hmm. people of all ages, that's the mom and dads, everybody can come uh, for the Canoe Mobile Watershed Festival. Uh, and this is the one, all ages, departs from right there at Walbridge Park, and they're going to be in bigger boats, right? They will. They'll be in these uh, 10 person canoes yeah. that will be led by an expert um, in canoe piloting, if that's the word. Um, all the life jackets and paddles will be provided so families can come down. Everyone can get in the same boat as long as your family size is under nine. Yeah. You will all fit in that boat and you'll get to paddle the boat yourself. Um, that but, is what, yeah. Who pays for all of this? The Toledo Metropolitan Council of Government has really made a great effort to make this event possible to draw more attention to the Maumee River, the Maumee River Water Trail, the Maumee Designated State Scenic River. It's a really fantastic opportunity. Yeah. So you, you, asked, you asked who paid for it. Yeah. Um, I've got to give props to the US EPA uh, through their Urban Waters Program, which focuses on uh, specifically on reaching urban populations and at-risk populations. 
uh, they are funding this program. I think it is so cool. I've seen pictures, they've done this elsewhere all around North America. Um, I can't imagine what the scene's gonna be out here. You'll see it right here on WTOL. My thanks to Kari Gerwin, Tima Cox, Director of Water Quality Planning, and from the ODNR, Christina Cookley, Scenic Rivers Manager, keeping us on the leading edge of efforts to educate about our area's ecology and natural history, and certainly our water quality. Thanks both, have a great time. I'll Thank be right you. back.